Just because you're locked inside, you can't play Frolf, you can't watch Frolf because the professional Frolf tour is postponed. Does not mean we can't talk Frolf. Frolfcast, episode one. Ah, uh, the homepage on the PDGA website shows some stay sharp at home putting tips with AJ Risley in the picture. <laughs> Here's a tip. Don't get your putting advice from him. But interesting to note, the PGA Tour has announced that it still hopes to host the Charles Schwab Challenge May 21st to restart their 2020 golf season. Keep in mind the 2020 PDGA World Championships is trying to maintain its date of June 13th of this year. But we've come to find out that Weber and Morgan counties in Utah, the site of this year's Professional Disc Golf Association World Championships, have issued a new public health declaration on April 2nd extending its restrictions on large gatherings and that's all the way through april the 16th and then it gets even nuttier because pro world's registration opens april the 17th just one day after that restriction on large gatherings through the 16th so tournament director jade sewell has considered postponement of the event. But right now, his plan is still to go live June 13th through the 20th for the Professional Disc Golf World Championships in Utah. But as time progresses, I think we're going to see that date get pushed back. It's going to get moved back. And if I were to bet... It's looking like all major events may just be pushed back one full year. Keep the sites, keep the weekends, push it back one year, push it back one calendar year. Here's some people who may not like that plan, pushing back all the majors one year. Emporia, Kansas. Emporia, Kansas is set to host the 2021 Worlds out in a wide open field with nothing to combat with but uh, out of bounds, water hazards, and wind. So the players might not mind as much because when it boils down, nobody really wants to travel out to Emporia. Nobody wants to stay out there. Nobody wants to do anything other than get those events over with, say they had a good time the few days that they were there and how much it's booming into a great disc golf town. No one wants to drive all the way out into the middle of nowhere to play those courses. God forbid you talk a girlfriend or a family member to travel out there for a big event because you've heard how great it is. And then you get there Oh, man. If you don't run out of gas on your way there. It's in the middle of the country, centrally located. I'll give them that. Once you get there, eh. Courses, eh. Nightlife. <laughs> oh, God. It's Kansas, people. And poor you, Kansas. So, move this year's Worlds, 2020 Utah Worlds, just make it 2021 Worlds in Utah, period. Ultra World Disc Golf taking a recent poll of the Disc Golf Mount Rushmore. And they say the readers have spoken and elected the first ever unofficial official unofficial disc golf mount rushmore leading the way no surprise nailed it on the head ken climo 20.5 percent of the vote 
Paul McBath, number two. Eh. 18.23% of the vote. That's even too close there. I guess it doesn't matter. As long as you make it on the route... As long as you make it on the Mount Rushmore, I really guess it does not matter what place you're in. But we all know you want the George Washington spot. Ed Hedrick, third place, 12.5%. Dave Dunn pace. The man, the myth, the legend. In the fourth spot. Paige Pierce comes in fifth place in this poll. You've got to be kidding me. Really shows you the state of the game. I guess that means the sport is growing. So there's more people growing, more people heading into the game, more people picking up a disc and playing for the first time and getting interested at a hyperbolic rate. So the newer disc golfer is really affecting these votes in this poll. Paige Pierce coming in. Fifth place, almost finding herself on the disc golf Mount Rushmore for the first voting. Nonsense. That's crazy. No disrespect to Paige. You're nowhere near the Mount Rushmore. Thank you very much. Not even close. UC Maresma. UC Maresma is part of the disc golf New World Order, if you will. Coming in 6th place with 6.66% of the vote, may I add. Kind of weird. Elaine King, no stranger to being top of disc golf lists with 3% of the vote. Then it just gets silly. Obviously, not a lot of people are voting in this. And you can tell the state of the game, where the players are... Experience-wise, voting on a poll like this. Simon Lazat, Barry Schultz, Nate Sexton, Jonathan Gomez. He's done a lot for the sport. Appreciate it. Got a lot of eyes on it. Nowhere close. And he beat out the likes of two-time world champ Ricky Wysocki. 09 world champ Avery Jenkins. 08 world champion Dave Feldberg. Three-time world champ Nate Doss with only 1% of the vote. This is crazy. This is crazy. Eagle McMahon ahead of the likes of Valerie Jenkins. Des Redding. Barely even on the list. Ron Russell. This is a crazy list. Crazy list. Take it for what it's worth. I think they probably got it right the first time, but after the top four, really gets wild. Really gets crazy. Not the way the list should be. Top four are absolutely correct. I can't believe it could be so right at the top and so wrong fall off a cliff after that. Interesting poll. Turns out the pride of Germany has been encouraged by the response to his decision to stay home. And it turns out he helped others in the process. This from PDGA Twitter. We're all just trying to stay away from, from courses right now just to... I've actually received messages from other disc golfers around the world just telling me thank you for publicly saying that I'm not going to courses and that people should avoid courses because it actually like helped other disc golf communities to like enforce those, I don't know, can you call it rules or laws? Guided, yeah. yeah. I know we're nobody's been outside playing disc golf more. Nobody's been on the course more than Simon Lazat. Besides myself, I've been playing every day for two and a half weeks. Keep your distance. That's where you should be. You should be on the frolf course, staying six feet away from everybody, minding your own business, enjoying yourself, enjoying the weather. It's springtime. We can't watch professional frolf. But we can play froth out on the course, outside, fresh air. Turns out that's going to be the cure. Turns out the cure was fresh vitamin B and D from the sun.
fresh oxygen in the air, fresh cut grass, plastic, DX plastic, rub it on your skin. That's the cure. That's what it's going to turn out to be. Kristen Tatar, the defending women's U.S. champion from overseas, quoted recently, don't go pro for the cash. <laughs> no shit. No shit. I'll go a step further and just tell you, don't play frolf from the money. It's not going to happen. Not a great living there. If you enjoy it, fantastic. Don't do it for the money. So not only don't go pro for the money, just don't play disc golf for the money. Thank you. China.